Huh? Yeah, I have. Not very good. Let me show you some places I need to. I'm really bad at it. Yeah, I want to see this because now that you've got that engine, you're oh, you're yeah. we'll, we'll run to it. you're uh, you're going to be part of the. This is going to be the part of the YouTube project right here. See this section right here is rusted out. Yep. Above your headlight. Yep. And you see the air comes in through this grill right here. Right. And it's funneled in over here in front of your radiator. Right. This right here. I got to cover this. Well, you, you just got to close that hole, right? Uh, on both sides, yeah. That shouldn't be too difficult, should it? Just grind off enough to get to some metal and put a flat piece of metal on there and I do a little spot that, weld on it. I could just see a flat piece of metal across in there. Because nobody's ever going to see that. No, they're not going to see it except me. So, you know. And that's the important part. Of plus, a little flat piece of metal just won't fall out like a piece of fiberglass wheel in a little while. Man, I and then a little piece of the grill and the grill. Yeah. I said I wasn't going to replace all that stuff. I wanted to get a bang on it. This thing's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Looked like you had to saw them out. A couple of them I did. Yeah. You can you see how that contour is? Yeah. And the head of the boats then got so rusted, with nothing fit them. Yeah. And you couldn't get nothing up in there. I said I wasn't gonna replace them things, but I didn't got to a chore. I didn't have no chore. If you were gonna paint them, I could tell you how to fix that. Uh, and well, people... I still got some I'm gonna have to deal with. So you tell me. Well, the, get some of this poor 15 two-part epoxy. And it's 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 expensive, it's about fifty dollars for for two blocks of it. But you you take a little piece of it and you mix it together and you smear it on there and you let it dry and then you can sand it down smooth. That stuff's strong as metal. And then see, if you're gonna paint it, then you put that on there and then sand it all down, paint it. I'm gonna good. say you tell me it's about the same thing as glazing putty. No, glazing putty is not strong. This stuff is strong enough. Well, I tell you, I, I fixed stuff. Well, it's about the same thing as JB Well. Only it's dry. JB Weld is wet, and JB Weld won't hold up to weather the same way that this stuff will. Um, and I fixed the, uh, you, you know the uh, the gutter, the gutter around the station wagon, the little thing that your water runs off your top, runs in that gutter. Well, I had one rusted out on 55 Ford, and I had the the top of the windshield right up here was gone. It was rusted right up here in the center. I mean, how are you going to fix that? You're going, you know, I mean, you know, the right way to do it was like Mr. Heavy Chevy did it. He cut all it out and replaced it. But can you imagine what kind of welding it takes to replace a gutter and that windshield metal and all that? Huh? But more than my expertise. Exactly. Me too. But but if you have a place like that, it's not really structural. All it is is for looks. You fill up the hole, smooth it out, and paint it. If anybody wants a flathead six Studebaker engine that's running, right? Runs like a top. Nah, right? I guess I think I got plans for it. Right? Oh, you got plans for it. That is uh, that is a fine piece of stuff right there. So, so you got plenty of room here. You know, if you if you. Uh, Kind of take these two little side mounts out you probably pretty easily find a place look at this steering box right in the middle of that okay i see what that is so that hinges there right yeah how bizarre is that that's a whole different thing that i ain't seen before sure is huh whole different concept huh is your other one in there like that one thing about it, you get an up close and personal look at how all this works right out here without having to take a good one apart. Now I get personal look, I don't know about how it works. Lord have mercy. So, got a little torsion bar built into the A-frame there. Yeah. There's a lot going on in that front end. 
1954. Yeah, huh? yeah. That would be one of the introductions to in, independent front suspension. Yeah, 54 Chevy had them. Like, they, they weren't like this, but they probably weren't far from it. They were just a little different, but that was when they first, really first, started coming up with the whole idea of that independent suspension got away from them axle thing. I shouldn't say that because the really early Chevys, I think some of them had. Well, now that fit that 39 Plymouthton has got independent yeah. suspension. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> well, you get that Chevrolet motor all prettied up and set it over in there with that 400 transmission there, and she'll be. Uh, It'd be nice. You've got a lot of work ahead of you. I hope you're feeling energetic. <laughs> I always feel a bit energetic. <laughs> That's not the problem. <laughs> yeah. I can get energetic laying in bed. <laughs> what was the name of that stuff you're talking about? Poor 15. Poor 15 makes paint. Yeah, I know, I got you. you know about that. Well, they also make this two-part putty. And uh, I have fixed things that I couldn't fix with anything else with that because it's, it's strong enough and it's not wet. Like, like you're talking about JB Weld, you put it on something, well, while it's wet, it will drip. Like if you put it on, uh, if you put it on that there, it might hold, it might not. But uh, this stuff will dry, dry and then you can sand it and paint it and all that stuff. In fact, they're gonna to try to clean that frame up, put the use of my pull 15 on it, paint it. Yeah, that stuff works wonders. Sure does. The rest in here would not be killed, really. Yeah. These ones have both got a steam cleaner. That's something hard to find. Okay. Got a pressure washer, but I don't have a steam cleaner. Well, cold water just don't deal with that hot water. Do no, it sure don't. All right, then. I guess I'll get out of your hair and let you have fun with your new stuff. <laughs> Am I forgetting anything? You see any spare parts laying in the yard or anything like that? I guess not. S is that a uh, an S10? No, it's out of a 2003 Ranger. Oh, okay, it's a four brewery. Right. Mm. Well, with that 400, that ought to work, right? You know? Well, I won't miss. Well, with nine inch, right. nine inch is in. Mainly in pickup trucks, and they're too wide. Right, they Anything are. Anything that's small enough is in cars, such as Mustang, stuff like that. 60 model Mustang, and you know where all of them are at. Yeah, yeah, that's right. If they hadn't been crushed in somebody's backyard, which is savored yeah. very much so, and yeah. they ain't going to give up no rear end. Yeah. They're going to fix it. I'm going to fix it one of these days. Yeah. I've heard that before, said it too. Many, many times. Tell the YouTubers bye. See ya. <laughs>